Good afternoon, culture lovers. This is uh, your book report host, Robert Boyd, coming at you with a new book report. This week, I'm read I read uh, "I Want You" by Lisa Hanawalt. Um and uh, I, I was I, it, it was a very quick read because it's mostly a lot of pictures and it's not dense, but it's it's a, a delightful read. And I'm I'm kind of in the middle of reading. Uh, some hard, long books, uh, one on German philosophy. So that's a masochistic task that I've undertaken. And I just needed like a kind of a palate cleanser and this was perfect for it. So Lisa Hanawalt is a cartoonist, uh, but she's probably best known in the world, uh, outside of the world of cartooning for being a the designer of the series, Bojack Horseman, and uh, the creator of the series, uh, uh, Tuca and Birdie. Um, and these were both animated series that started on uh, Netflix. And Bojack Horseman was very successful and ran for you know, six seasons or something on Netflix. While Tuca and Birdie only ran for one season, but I, I hear it's been picked up by the Cartoon Network or something. Um, in any case, uh, she uh, she's done a couple of other books. Uh, uh, let's see. The Hot Dog Taste Test and um, My Dumb Dirty Eyes. And she's she's an amazingly good illustrator, but beyond being a good illustrator, she's just a funny person and comes up with uh, hilarious ideas. And I Want You is not new stuff. It was originally published as a comic series in 2009. Um, and uh, Bojack Horseman started in 2014. And what, what you realize after you read I Want You is how much of Bojack Horseman depended on what she had already done in I Want You. Um, she basically, she loves to draw animal characters animal human hybrids so she's a a mistress of chimera and uh and the the humor she she applies to them in a in in i want you is i don't want to say it's similar to bojack horseman because it, it's it's its own thing but she she makes them like ordinary humans who happen to have animal heads and in other ways act like animals um, except for like, you know, a, um, uh, a seal, a seal man might fall in love with a, uh, a fish woman instead of say eating her and a, uh, and a horse might fall in love with a, uh, a horse man, a he horse might fall in love with a she moose and that kind of thing. It, it, it's it's just all throughout BoJack Horseman, and she uh, she got credit as the designer for all the episodes, but uh, later on she was uh, made an executive producer, and um, I know it was created by uh, what's his name? Hold on, hold on, let me look this up real quick. By Raphael Bob Dash Waxberg, um, and uh, he. I, and I think, you know, he had a lot to do with why it was a great TV show. I think, actually, I would rank BoJack Horseman as one of my top, personal top 10 TV shows. Um, but I think uh, it would have been a totally different thing if Lisa Hanawalt hadn't been there with her insanely clever animal-human hybrids that just sort of permeate the, uh, the surreal nature of the show. Um, so I, I, I'm, as, as I'm talking here, I'm showing you some images from, from the book and you can see if you're familiar with Bojack Horseman, you can see how, how similar they are. Although what you also see is just how, when she's drawing for herself, or in this case, drawing for a very small press publication that really only a, a relatively small number of comics nerds and apparently Hollywood producers ever saw, um, she sweats all the details, but when it becomes an animated cartoon, it's all simplified. And I'll show some 
some panels or some images from Bojack Horseman to show how that is. Anyway, I do want to recommend uh, I Want You. Uh, she is a great artist, very funny, and uh, even though it's older work, it's not that this should make any difference, but it still feels totally fresh. And if you are a fan of Bojack Horseman, you will be instantly reminded of it. But just remember which came first. Anyway, that's I Want You by Lisa Hanawalt. Enjoy. <laughs>